Hi Floss Tube, it's me, Green Tigers Crass, coming to you with a two month uh update. Yeah, um still haven't replaced my computer, but I'm saving up for it now. We um uh, went we had we were on vacation, so my that was it putting aside is for that vacation is now going towards my computer. So Without further further ado, but I have a tall pile over here to get through. So let's start with my finishes. I have finished um, the Walking Dead Mich Michelle Michelle Michonne and her two walkers. And I FF would it into a flat fold. And I, this was a leftover scrap of Ada that was hand dyed by Gab Gabriel Needle Art. I will put the correct name of her shop in the down below. But yeah. And there goes the cat. So. Boyfriend really loves this. He appreciates it. And my second finish is for. You see my cap? <laughs> um, this is a Christmas gift for my uh, um, dance teacher. And it says, in this house, we believe black lives matter, women's rights are human rights, no human is illegal, science is real, love is love, no matter your faith or ability, kindness is everything. And I put my initials in uh, 17 down the bottom. I still got to cut this out, but this was on a piece of 18 count Ada that I hand, well, I then hand dye. I dyed this piece of fabric by my hand dyed this fabric myself. I can speak English. And this is a saying I found online that I used the writing tool app and I just went ahead and clicked the letters in. I don't remember when I finished that but that was last month. And those are my only two finishes. Um, got, um, I've been working my lips. There's a couple in here you haven't seen in a while. First one is my China kit that has needle attached to it. I currently have it a uh, paper clip to the top. But, yeah. Piece is huge. Basically, I work down here for the more black. I'm trying to find where I'm at. Yeah, I'm trying to work down, trying to fill in. I started parking just because there's just so much confetti in this crane. But that's where he's at. Not too much progress. He He's a slow one, and this is one of those, like, you really have to be in the mood to work on him. Actually, you drive me dragon while I'm out of frame. And another one you haven't seen in a while um, is my Anubis. I will insert a picture of what he's supposed to be like and where he was last time. Because I honestly don't remember. And this is him now. 
I know I finished the chart that I I used a Cosmos, I think, to chart him with, and I didn't like how it turned out, so I am now freehanding him. Yeah, base. I know I filled in his hair. I outlined where his hair comes down to the back, and I need to finish all these half stitches. But that is where he's at. And I need to go in there and I need to find a better shade of um, skin tone to fill in around his face. Yep. I'm trying, I want him done by the end of this year. I actually have a list. I created a list of things I want to get done this year. And he's on it. Now what I worked on is, this was a Stitch Mania start. I love Halloween kit. Mill Hill kit, my first kit that I ever got. Insert a picture of where you last seen him. And that is where he's at right now. I know the boo is uh, filled with beads. We got some of the dark navy, navy um, blue, which is really hard to tell. Done and breaking my way over. And oh, I do you seen this on? I'm pretty sure I worked on this on my last video. This is my uh, Princess Cloud from Cloud's Factory. I can talk. I think. Where you last seen it. And where it is now. I believe I started Bell. Last time you seen it, so I finished Belle, finished um, Jasmine, and I have started on Pocahontas. And I just took this out of the uh, hoop that it was in, so you have really bad hoop marks. But that's for that one standing. This is another one I want to get done by the end of the year. It's quite possible because once you get it going, those things go by fast. Next one is my, um, I didn't do puppy. The one, this is one I converted and flipped. So that's what the tarted one, one looks like. And this is what I have done to it so far. Yep, I have reached my stone. I have reached the bottom. So, yep, basically just, um, I have no idea where I, <laughs> I think I finished this column, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't exactly remember other than the fact that I finished, I came down and finished the bottom where you guys were left off, so. He is another one, another one I want to get done by the end of the year. As I started him in two, in Mania 2016, trying to get some, some of my uh, those ones done, and he does. Once you get going on him, he's really not a bad stitch. And this one, this is. Um, Clouds Factory, uh, Star Trek. I'm taking and I've kind of, about Star Trek, the original series, Star Trek, the next, next generation, and Star Trek Voyager. I'm going to put them all on one piece of fabric. Yep. 
hard, hard to see that Star Trek. But this is where I've got into. This last time you seen this was in Mania. Yep, I've got the first cast done. I am um, tweeted um Ahora? Ahora? I think it is Ahora. I'm sorry. If I'm getting that name wrong. <laughs> but yep, I've got Star Trek up here in gold. This is a free font I found online. And I went and I did the uh, same in Word. So, so far as I have Space the Fine. These are the voyages of the. So, I'm going to put that saying there. I'm going to put in Next Generation here. Then I'm going to put in Next Generation characters underneath and finish out the scene to build a goal where no one, no one has gone before. And underneath, uh, Voyager's title, Voyager's characters. And this is a, and this fabric is one I hand dyed or I dyed myself. I dyed it a really dark black. It was some red and yellow and possibly purple. And after it was, I set the colors, I took and sprayed bleach on it to give it the uh, starry effect to it. But that's how that one's coming along. Do, 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 do. Hey, stop that. Okay. Yeah. Moving stuff around. This one is another one that I want to get finished by the end of the year. I don't think it's realistically, I don't think it's going to happen unless I work on solely nothing but this. But this is Lavender and Lace Spring Angel. Um, this I started in 2016 for Stitch Mania. And this is a present for my grandma. If I ever get it done for her in time. But that is where I'm at. Yeah, I think, I think the last time you've seen it, I just got it down to the bottom. So I'm working my way across. I've worked my way all the way across the working copy to the side. The only thing left on over here is some um, beads and her uh, violin. Yeah. Yeah, mine is caught to my necklace. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I have two needle minders, this one holds my chart and this one holds my needle. And the park Threads are threads that are, um, are on different pages. And this is a linen I got from a needlework store. And honestly, I don't, I can't remember what it was. And on other than the fact, I'm not a fan of linen. I prefer I prefer even weave because the tension just looks better. And I've only worked on this one for a day. This is the black room, black work mushrooms. Um, I started this in Stitch Mania. Actually, my working copies in the book. I started this the 16th of this year, and um, for Mania. And this is as far as I've got. So, 
put in a couple more rolls of the black work. I start on the blade of grass over here. And this is on Pictureless Plus 28 Count Lagana Chime. This was a um, stitchy box piece of fabric. So I've only worked, like I said, a day on that one. Didn't get very far on him. And. Yeah. You're probably wondering where this one was. And if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I am partaking in um, Brittany's uh, Bristone Dragon Cell. And she is no longer um, Blimey Cat. She switched her name to Brittany at. And oh, I'm so sorry, Brittany. If you watch this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Ingleside Imaginarium. <laughs> Brittany at In Ingleside Imaginarium, uh, In uh, that's also the name of her Etsy store. But last time you seen my Umberstone cell? And this is where I've got to so far. I have, um, gone. Yeah, I made some changes. I found some red beads on clearance, so I went ahead and I switched out the four red beads I had and placed it with this one. I have since added aquamarine crown to and a necklace to aquamarine. Diamond has pretty much stayed the same. Emerald? No, you haven't seen Emerald. I finished Emerald. Gave him a pretty necklace and a small crown and a huge emerald to stand on. I used um, some of my gold uh, sulky sliver to hold it up in place because it was just held by two um, metal circles at the outside so it was flopping around. We have Pearl who has a pearl crown necklace bracelet and uh, tail decoration while holding the pearl. And I took and I flop I went into my paint program and I flopped her around so she was facing these guys. Down here this is on Alexandrite. This one is charted correctly. And I made him, I made this one a male. He has a simple crown while holding an um, Alexandrite um, spear. And he has uh, beads coming off, and he has a simple uh, tail design. We have Ruby. Ruby was fun. Yeah, I could not find a heart, red heart that I liked in the hearts that I found. The only red heart I found was the Agati button. Then I found a heart that wouldn't work, except for it was like a diamond. So, I went and I used two to form a heart. And I gave her a bed of cold lay on so she can stay nice and warm while she's sleeping. And I started Paradox. Basically, just finished the tail. I haven't got and touched the feathers. I haven't got much further than that. Well, this was another landmark because I did find the bottom. So, yep, got another six to go because I am stitching both the dragons. 
He had a uh, June that was two dragons, December is two dragons, and October is another two dragons. So I plan on stitching all of them because I can, because I want to, and they're fun. And my last whip is a new start. Hmm. Sorry, you're currently on a puzzle and the one piece is came undone. Anyway, this is a new start. I do not have the cover picture, but I want to start it here. This is, um... I requested, uh, Brittany, this is another Angleside Imaginarium pattern. I had, I contacted Brittany and asked if she was going to, um, the dog, uh, Home is Where the Dog Is, if she was going to plan on doing a corgi. So, she very kindly, she, um, she did do a copy, or she made, she did not do a pattern for me, and I'm thinking that she will uh, uh, release this on her store, but mine's going to be unique. And please join my dog. That's as far as I got on her. But, yay! Come here. Here's Maggie. You haven't seen her in a while. Shh. Shh. Hush. She hears uh, somebody parking outside. Hush. Okay, down. Good girl. Down. Hush. Anyway, sorry about the interruption, but isn't she cute? So yeah, so thank you, Brittany. I I love it. Can't wait to work on it some more. Um, yeah. Now on to my haul. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of like magazines. <laughs> okay, so the start of my haul. I went to my needlework store. I had I did a belly dance performance or in the town where my uh, um stitchy store is. So I was like I left a little bit early, I went in and I I left without spending a hundred dollars, surprisingly enough. But I did find um I got some more Cosmos. It's got some pretty variegated purples, purple and pink. I have a dark green and blue combination. And I got a very pretty spring one. Purples, greens, um, pinks. So, got those. And no real intention. I mean, I was thinking. I was thinking spring and violets. This one I could have been thinking water. Very shady dark water. And all the two things that I got. I got um Mirabilia, Queen of Peace. Shush. This is, um, Calgary Kate Plant, Plant, Paints of Plenty. Um, has took this pattern and converted her into Annabelle Lee. And it's like, I, I love that pattern. I wouldn't have got this otherwise. Because I'm on her conversion. So, Katie, if you see this, how much would it cost for your conversions? So, I got that. Also got um, Mirabilia, the Fairy Moon. 
See, I like this one better than um, Stargazer, but that's just me. But I think she's pretty. I do like her. And I might, I'm thinking when I start her, I'm going to invest in uh, Sunny Dyes fabric. The ones that have like the picture in the background print, um, printed in on the fabric. Um, Sherry Burke uh, talks about them a lot. Yeah. So. And probably will go and spend a little extra and find one with the moon that I really like. But that was it for the Stitch Store. Um, I got needle minders. I actually bought needle minders. This is a a card plan to stitch. Um, she does um scissor fobs. I think she, and she does sell on um, patterns. Which reminds me, I did buy her um Galaxy Dragon. I had to insert a picture of that because I don't have a copy of it. But she sent along a penguin button, a blue heart, and a purple button. But I got cheap and Mrs. Bats. It is a uh, handmade. It was also a freebie she sent me. So they're so cute. I've been holding off using these guys so I could show them off. But <laughs> yep, and she has a Groot that I want. And surprisingly, I didn't. Read her location. She comes from the UK. So, so when, I was kind of wondering why shipping was a little bit more expensive, but come to find out, it was um across the seas. Like, oh, cool. Well, thank. I sent her a message saying thank you for shipping across the seas. I didn't realize. Anyways, my first needle minders that I bought. Oh, I got. Boris the Bat. Oh, I also got this at the Stitchy, Stitchy store. I forgot about him. I didn't forget about him. I just forgot that I got him there. So, another Mill Hill kit. They're just cute. Got some. These three I got from um, Stash Unload. I got Autumn Harvest 2, and these are uh, beauty kits. August, Har August Harvest 2, Kitty Gap, hmm. I'm not saying the um, name of the pattern on these. And Autumn Harvest Pen 8. Tricky time. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's 8. My ribbon numerals are not good. Even in college when I had to do outline for a speech, you had to do, use the Roman numerals. I've always had to look them up without fail. Okay, sorry about the break. Um, yeah. Um, I ran out of storage on my phone, so I went and I uploaded the last, the my other clip onto the computer, and, and it is currently converting over so I can edit it and Movie Maker, and speaking of Movie Maker, I'm sorry about the quality of the auto. I don't, I've tried 
everything that I can possibly think of with the audio. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to my haul. Yeah, I used a 40% off at Joyons, and I finally got the um, new newest colors of DMC. I know one of the, I know one of the blues call is called for in my peacock that I started in last mania. I ended up switching it for like a eight twenty or something like that just because I wasn't buying a whole thing. But anyway. Yeah, new DMC color, not the most exciting. Different time about joyance. I got the uh, Design Works um, Unicorns. Make uh, make your life so um, so. Sorry, cannot read backwards. Make your life so amazing that unicorns will have to have trouble believing in you. It's, it's a cute little symptom, and I like it. I like unicorns. Inspiration. That's the word. Okay. Last couple of things before I hit the magazines. I found in a used bookstore Treasures of uh, the Hiki. The, yeah, I need a point. Uh, Frames Prince. His name is escaping me, and I cannot read that. <laughs> I can't read it, but I can't pronounce it. The Huck? The Hick? Something. But it's an older book. Um, it's got some neat designs. Some, I, do you like some of the uh, borders? Beatles, Gira, Vulture. Here. Some more. Hmm. I like that background. Figure I could use this for inspiration with um, um borders. You kind of like this lion. And the heat. The heat. We got this one. Which I'm thinking you can buy as a kit at some point in time. Open. Okay, I'm just going to show you a small part. Very hard to see, but these symbols at one point in time were hand drawn. It's like some of the dots, they're, they're not placed correctly. So I was like, really? Kind of pressed. But I do like, like I said, I do like the borders. And another one I found was Leisure Arts Happy Halloween leaflet. Because it could. And I like Halloween. And Taz. Because Taz. Mm, this one's a. Uh, these ones are colored. Very simple. But yeah, <laughs> he's just cute. I like this one. Bad to the bone.
And last one I got from the bookstore was Around the World in Cross Stitch, Jane Eden. Hmm. Didn't find too many in here, but. Um, it has been a while since I've uh, looked in this book. And this one is all. This one is also hand drawn and hand colored because if you look closely enough, those are colored pencils. So, a couple um, reference type books. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I was like. I, I've seen that one and like, oh, hey, they have Asian stuff. I was underwhelmed with the Asian section. Oriental section. But, magazines. So, yeah, get comfy, people. I have, um, the cross-stitcher. This is, uh, April 2000. There's no rhyme or rhyme or reason. I've got a uh, cross stitch crazy. This is oh, summer. Oh, speaking of which, I found out how I can mark, find out what issue my, uh, World of Cross Station magazines are. So this is probably May's, May of 2017. Yeah, and if you look in the back. Uh, the world of cross stitching they have what what's coming up next month and this issue it's like oh so that's that issue coming out so this one issue less you probably all figured that out a long time ago but i had it <laughs> and if you haven't figured it out you know have a tip and okay Cross Stitcher issue three thirteen June two thousand seventeen and this one was coasters. Okay, the world of cross stitching. I think that's was their main one. This is issue. Issue, issue, issue. Oh. Not sure. This is one of the more recent issues. Another cross stitcher. This is issue 313. I like this one. The, uh, Tattoo one. Let's see if I can find her real quick. Come on, flip, please. Be inspired. I like that one. And this one. Came with a free um, wristband. We have the world of cross stitching again. Does cross stitcher? Those are cute. 
Like as a dog and two cats. You know, it's hard to see, but he's there. Give you a quick glance at the back. There you go. For the love of cross stitch, I did find this at the thrift store. Yeah, and be this one kind of made me upset, honestly. This pattern right here, it's like the only one that I'll consider stitching. If I can find it, I will show you. Yeah. Can't tell if you can tell, but they wrote they used the ink pen on it. <sighs> yeah, they used the ink pen and wrote in the magazine on the actual pattern. So I'm like, why? Other than that, it's like I can still read it. It's just. I know it now. Okay. I'm continuing on. Let's get the world of cross stitching. This is on the flamingo on it. Got another cross stitch crazy. Peter and Kanto. Your drinks, Paris. Ice cream. Another world of cross stitching. Bambi. Does that not scream Bambi? Then we've got, of course I had to get the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2017 magazine. Here is a glimpse of what is in this particular magazine. And we've got cross stitcher issue three oh eight. The cross stitcher uh, issue 320. I believe, I believe, um, Simply in Stitches has done a flip through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because I remember that watch me in the flip through. Stay. I got my hands on cross stitch gold issue 137. I want her and I want this uh, mermaid. So that's can that came in the mail yesterday. And the last one, um, cross stitch crazy. Oh, yep, this just came in the mail today. This was the one with the Travel to Oz pattern that everybody was, um, and this ma magazine came out, everybody was going gaga for. So, yeah. I finally got my hands on the magazine. Because I went to go try and find it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So, that is my magazine haul. There's a, f a few other things in there, but for the most part, 
mostly magazines. Anyway, I do, I will probably be making a whip parade tonight. So, <laughs> we'll see which one gets uploaded first. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, I appreciate um, your time that you spend to watch me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of fosters out there now. A lot of them. And it's like, I know I could be a, a little mel melancholy. So, for those who uh, have watched me, I thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And, yeah. That's my catchphrase. You may know my catchphrase. Anyway, thank you uh, again. Thank you for watching. And stitch so you don't kill people.